If all the ice in the North Pole melts, the effects will be significant but different from what would happen if the Antarctic ice melted. Here's what to expect. 1. No significant sea level rise. The ice in the Arctic North Pole is mostly sea ice, which is already floating on the ocean. When it melts, it doesn't contribute much to sea level rise, just like how ice cubes melting in a glass don't raise the water level. 2. More extreme weather. The Arctic acts as Earth's cooling system. Without ice reflecting sunlight the albedo effect, the region will absorb more heat, disturbing global weather patterns. This could cause more heat waves, storms, floods, and droughts in many parts of the world. 3. Warmer oceans and faster ice melt elsewhere. The Arctic ice helps cool the surrounding ocean. Without it, ocean temperatures will rise, which could lead to faster melting of Greenland's ice sheet. Unlike Arctic ice, Greenland's ice is on land, and if it melts completely, it could raise global sea levels by about 7 meters 23 feet over centuries. 4. Threat to wildlife. Polar bears, seals, and other Arctic animals depend on sea ice for survival. The loss of ice means habitat destruction and potential extinction for some species. 5. Changes in ocean currents. The Arctic plays a role in global ocean currents, like the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation amok. If the Arctic warms too much, it could disrupt these currents, causing climate shifts in Europe and North America. 6. More greenhouse gases released. Melting Arctic permafrost frozen ground could release massive amounts of methane and carbon dioxide, making global warming even worse. 7. Easier Arctic navigation and resource exploitation. The melting ice will open new shipping routes and access to oil, gas, and minerals under the Arctic seabed. However, this could lead to geopolitical conflicts over resources. In short, the Arctic melting is a serious issue, not because of direct sea level rise, but due to its impact on global climate, ocean currents, and ecosystems.